Welcome back to That's My Drink. So last week we went through sour and its importance in cocktails. We started with citrus, went on to powdered acid solutions and then actually acidified some not normally acidic fruit juice. Towards the end of last week I mentioned vinegars and acetic acid and that's really where we're going to step up and explore today. So before we look into using vinegar in our cocktails, we really know what it is. At its most basic, it's an acidic liquid. Um, but actually when you look a bit closer, it's actually a product for fermentation. So vinegar is made by fermenting ethanol into acetic acid. In order to do this, you need to mix a form of alcohol with uh, acetic bacteria, which is normally done by, like most classically, combining wine with what is called a vinegar mother, which is just a bacterial culture. It doesn't have to be wine, uh, it's just most commonly is. I think things like white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, champagne vinegar, like those are the most common types. That's normally how it's done, but any form of ethanol alcohol can be fermented into acetic acid. When you actually look into vinegars, there are actually only a 5% acetic acid in them. Um, so this isn't as much as like the powdered acid solutions I was telling you to how to make last week, where we're doing 10% solutions. Uh, the main difference between acetic and stuff like malic citric is that it's incredibly strong and pungent um, and should always be used quite sparingly. Uh, when you, if you think of using just straight vinegar in a cocktail, you literally won't want more than 5 or 10 ml in it, otherwise it will completely overpower everything. Uh, a little helpful hint when it comes to using straight vinegar in, in cocktails is something I'm going to go into in a further video in more detail, but it's actually to use salt. Um, when you use salt in food or drinks, it actually lessens the, like, the intensity of acidity in the mouth. So if you're going to add 10 ml of, of a straight vinegar into your cocktail, try adding a couple of dashes of saline solution in, and that should just take the edge off and make it a bit more palatable. Another more fashionable way to use vinegars nowadays is to be making them into a shrub. So shrubs started out as a method of preserving fruits like berries and such. Um, and it sort of trans or transferred eventually into like a revitalizing tonic. So these kind of drinks were bits of fruit soaked into vinegar, like infused the vinegar with the, with the fruit. So the fruit itself would be preserved um, because of the high acid content. And then the vinegar would take on the, obviously the, the fruity flavors and then people would drink them. Um, doctors would prescribe them for like uh, for scurvy and people like in particularly hot climates, particularly in America, uh, working out the fields would, would drink them because they'd, they'd feel so much better afterwards. After a while, that you mentioned things like Coca-Cola and, and other more sweeter soft drinks, shrubs disappeared uh, up until bartenders started really becoming fascinated with them. And they really brought them back. They, they started to use them in cocktails and they've really given this what is a frankly really beautiful complex drink um, a new lease of life with being used part of their recipes. Um, they're a great way of getting an extra flavour in there, adding acidity to cocktails and just in general making them a little bit more complex. So this week this video is going to be a slightly odder. Uh, I'm not going to have a kitchen, this is how you make it, because I've already shown you how effectively to make a shrub, it's just doing things with slightly different ingredients. So the way I go about making a shrub is I would start to make an oleo first. So I'd take whatever fruit you want and some sugar in a one part to two part weight, um, leave it overnight, let those sugars pull the juices out of the fruit. Then when you come to add what would normally be your adding water or straining phase of your oleo, what I've then you do again is add another one part of vinegar by weight. Leave this another 24 hours, let that infuse the fruit flavours, take on some of the sugar, dissolve that, that acidity will help dissolve that sugar a lot easier as well. Then it's just strain, bottle it, um, these will last a lot longer, like a hell of a lot longer than your water syrup. Like I said, they were used, originally used for preserving. Vinegar's high acidity stops the growth of pretty much all bacteria. Um, so they'll keep for quite a long while. And then once you've got that, that's that's your that's your shrub. And you could use that kind of almost like how you would use a citrus juice. The acidity level because of the, the sugar bouncing off it is quite palatable, it's quite easy. So about 20 ml in cocktails would be perfectly fine. So how to use shrubs, the, the way I've described to make it and the way I've said to use it with like 20 ml increments in your cocktails is just one way. Um, if you use 20 ml in a cocktail and find the vinegar is too strong, but then if you reduce the amount of shrub, then 
your cocktail's not coming up to a decent height, then maybe you need to think about making the shrub a little less intense, adding less vinegar into it. So the one part might be a bit too much. However, you might want to go a bit more old school and not want to use sugar in your shrub and just make it with an, as a fruit infusion. That way, like obviously your, your shrub's going to be a lot more acidic, so maybe you should think about what you're using it as maybe as like a bitters um, and just adding a couple of dashes for like a real burst of acidity in fruit. The most obvious way to personalise your shrub uh, is which fruit do you use? So traditionally they they were preserving berries. So stuff like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, they make great shrubs, but also you can mess around and do, maybe do, I don't know, a, a vegetable shrub or, um, or maybe even use citrus juice and add, get the two different styles of acidity bouncing against each other and see how that reacts in the cocktail. Finally, probably the one that people don't really think about straight away, even though you're using vinegar, is the type of vinegar. We've got so many different flavors of vinegar and styles of vinegar out nowadays that you could use the same fruit in two different shrubs but use different vinegars and get completely different products. So let's use strawberry, uh, partly because I've made a strawberry shell uh, a few weeks ago and I've got some left I'm gonna use in a cocktail in a minute. And I seem to really like strawberries at the moment, might be because it's summer in England. Um, strawberries that you think of those flavors, they are, they're, they're light, they're refreshing, they're normally used in sort of lighter style cocktails. So you might lean immediately towards using a white wine or an apple cider vinegar, just because they've got those sort of like fruitier, like sort of like lighter notes to them. But strawberry and, and balsamic vinegar is quite a good combination as well. The red fruits or aspect of strawberries, if they're slightly overripe, that pairs beautifully with balsamic vinegar. You make two shrubs out of those two different vinegars and they'll taste completely different and be perfect for different styles. Maybe a strawberry infused balsamic would be great as a bitter solution and use a couple of dashes of those into like a style of spritz. But if you do it with white wine vinegar, it might not be as intense, it might suit better to adding 20 ml to a cocktail. So all things are taken into consideration when, when making shrubs and using shrubs, and they're just so versatile, the amount of possibilities are endless. So even though we're not doing a kitchen how-to, might as well stick with a, a cocktail that I can make with a shrub. So today I've gone for more like a low ABV spritz um, than an actual fully fledged cocktail, um, kind of some mindfulness to the incessant drinking during this lockdown. So what I've actually gone for is Belsasar White Vermouth. Uh, this stuff's great, it's got like a little sort of peachy, sort of sweet spice vanilla -y flavor to it, and it's just delicious. So we'll go 50 ml of this straight into the glass. This is quite sweet already, it's got a little bit of a sort of like syrupy texture to it as well, but just to help counteract the vinegar in the shrub, I've got a little squeeze of agave. Then I've got my strawberry shrub that I said I made. So this is it was a strawberry oleo, and I then cut it with some apple cider vinegar afterwards. Um, it was originally for a cocktail competition where they wanted us to use strawberry, apple, and rhubarb. So this can start mine two of those ingredients. And then just the top, I've got some soda water. Um, please excuse the fact that it's um, not my own from my soda stream, I'm trying to be quite plastic free at the moment, but didn't realise my soda stream ran out of CO2. What a nightmare. So we just top that with some soda. And just so you can see, it's a bit all laid out. Give it a quick little stir. And there we are. Lovely little light ABV shrub highball spritz thing. So thanks for watching again this week guys. So next week will be the last video concerning sweet or sour. Um, after that we'll be moving into focusing on, on strong and how to take an alcohol and turn it into something a little bit different and personalization to these great products that you're already using in your cocktails. But back to next week, we are going to look at cordials. So cordials are a great way of combining both sweet and sour elements into one ingredient and getting a bit of balance there straight away. Um, and it's what they do, you'll see they do add slightly different flavour profiles to just making an elderflower syrup or an elderflower vinegar. If you make an elderflower cordial, it, can, it can, um, encompasses both of those things in, in a nice balanced way. So we'll show, look into those and how to make those. But thanks again guys, see ya.